Hello everyone, I'm Cindy and this is Wilson, and together we're two-thirds of the Adventures of the Memory Makers. For the past few videos, we've heard Sam go on and on about his teardrop. <laughs> and today, today we're going to unveil my camper, a 1968 Shasta Compact. We started talking about getting a camper and I wanted a vintage and Sam wanted a teardrop. He had his reasons for what he wanted. I had my reasons for what I wanted. We looked at this one first and I said to the gentleman, we'll take it. And before we knew it, we had ourselves a vintage. We thought it was in pretty good shape, but in reality it wasn't. So once we got it home, what we thought was a pretty decent camper and didn't need much work. Upon further examination, we realized a lot of work needed to be done. So after lots of money and lots of time and a little bit of cussing, it finally got done. So if you're a purist, you may not approve of some of the modifications that were made, but we decided that we wanted to make it our own and we wanted to make it as convenient as possible and um, get the kind of some of the creature comforts that we could. So um, starting with the step. So I came home one day and sparks were flying from underneath the camper and Sam had welded some metal so that um, he could stabilize this step. This door was pretty damaged when we got the camper. So Sam replaced it, he rebuilt it. And it's where we store our jacks and blocks and also some electrical is in there. And now it seals up, we can lock it and it seals up tightly and we don't have to worry about water damage. We found this cooler at and stand separately actually at an antique mall. And uh, we love it because, or I love it because it matches, but it's not very well insulated. So if you're gonna have one of these and use it, doesn't like heat and it doesn't like sunlight and everything will melt. So Sam added this two inch hitch on the back of it so that we could attach the bike carrier, take our bikes with us when we go camping. Above that is the mount for the spare tire. We uh, just ordered a blank spare tire cover and then we stenciled the name on the camper which is sassy onto that and behind it is the vent for the air conditioner and uh, we also put in the air conditioner This is our portable power station, a Blue Eddy. Uh, a lot of times when we go camping, it's off grid. So this allows us to use it to power up our refrigerator. Our refrigerator is a 120 volt refrigerator instead of a 12 volt. So this Blue Eddy is being tested while we're camping to see if it can keep everything cold enough for the entire time that we're out here. So the skins are all original. Uh, we cleaned it up and we repainted it. So this is the only part of the skin that is not original to the camper. It was pretty damaged, so he took that off and replaced it with this diamond plate and painted it. And then up above is a rock guard for the window. That's original, and all he did was repainted that. And then we put this guard on here to keep Sam's head protected because he's notorious for running into things, and we thought nothing would ruin a camping trip like a quick trip to the emergency room. Wilson is a senior dog, so Sam made this ramp in order for him to be able to get up and down. Wilson. Come here, Wilson. We made the awning. I purchased the fabric from a company called Sailrite. Uh, we used a hot knife to cut it, and we got a big piece of cardboard, and we uh, traced around a dinner plate. It is not hard to do, and if you have a sewing machine that can handle 
canvas, I would definitely uh, recommend that you try to do it. And we're thinking we may do a video on how we made the awning. Come on, let's come inside. We totally gutted the inside, so it is not like an original Shasta. There was so much water damage, we had to take it down to the bare wood, which was really interesting to see how they were made. So um, that used to be a bed that you could pull out. So Sam built cabinets in there for storage. And honestly, we really have quite a bit of storage in here. I made the curtains, uh, got that fabric from Spoonflower. If they don't have what you're looking for, then it's not going to be able to be found because they, you can spend hours and hours on that website. Got the um, fabric for the cushions at Sailrite. And I wanted to show you this, which was really kind of neat. I had never done cushions like this before, but they have a um, material that's very easy to put your zippers in so that we can take these off and clean them if we need to. So I won't undo the zipper. You know how a zipper works. But um, that, that was not hard to do with that fabric that's on the back end of it. Um, in the kitchen, the top of the stove, the oven, and the hood are all original. But the refrigerator is new. And like I said earlier, it's 120 volts and not 12. We wish it were 12 because it wouldn't take as much to power. I made the towel. I really didn't contribute a lot but I do have a really nice sewing machine. So uh, I was able to do what I, what I could for the project. So we have storage underneath our seating area all the way around. Our air conditioner is down here. This is our return with a filter and then it drains down the bottom of the camper. Our cool air comes out here. And when it's really hot, we use a little uh, floor fan and that makes the air rise, the cool air rise. So if you're familiar with the original compacts, they had a cabinet that came out and it would definitely be a headbanger, especially for my husband. So he took that out and he was able to extend this wall back and the roof line kind of slants down. And so that allowed us, that gave us a little bit more room so that we could have my very favorite feature of the entire camper, which is the bathroom. And as much as I love the teardrop that we have, and I do like it a lot, there is nothing better than not having to go out in the cold in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. So obviously, you can tell that this is not original to the compact. And it's interesting because everyone that comes inside, they always notice this heater. It's a Dickinson P9000. And I noticed this in a magazine, a sailboat ma magazine, because it's actually a furnace for a sailboat. But the flame shows in this window here. So it's, I mean, it's really cozy and it's fun. So one Christmas, Sam surprised me with this and installed it in here. So this heater draws in its combustion air from the outside, and then it also, the exhaust air goes to the outside. So condensation is really not a problem with this heater, and uh, we've had it running all night long several times, and it's done great. So while we're on this side of the camper, let's take a look at the TV. It's a 12-volt TV. It has a little outdoor antenna that we have hooked up to it. And then it also has an HDMI cable so we can download something to our phones and connect it to the TV and we can watch a movie. Inside our bathroom is the breaker box for 120-volt service. Uh, the opening to our bathroom is pretty small. It's only 18 inches. We've got a little bit of storage above the porta potty and I will say that I absolutely love being able to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and stay warm. I like our teardrop, but having a bathroom makes all the difference. The reason why this door is so small is it is original to the camper, and there was a teeny tiny little broom closet, maybe had a couple hooks in it. And we wanted to reuse this door, so that's why it's so small.
We'll be making more videos about Sassy. We will be modifying her electrical system to make her a little more suitable for using a portable power station. I would like to caution you that if you are in the market for buying a vintage camper, really look it over closely before you decide to take it. I didn't do that. I got caught up in the moment and I said, we'll take it at the first price that the guy said that he wanted. In the end, it caused us a lot of time and renovation that we could have been out enjoying our camper. So I would just caution you to look it over, check for water damage, because that's a big thing with these older campers. Now that it's dark, I wanted to show everyone the flame on the furnace and also just a quick shot of the light that is original to the camper that is over the stove. Wilson and I would like to thank you for watching our video today. We had a lot of fun. I'm showing you the camper and I hope you'll come back and watch some more.